What's up guys? If you've been following me for a while, you know I like my keyboards mechanical and tiny. But today we're taking a look at a full-size mechanical board from Motospeed. It has 104 keys which means dedicated arrow keys, navigation keys and a numpad. But what caught my eyes was the fact that it was wired and wireless and it also features a metal plate, all of that for 50 bucks so why not take a look at it in real life. And this keyboard was provided by Gearbest, so I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. So it comes in a black box with red branding. In it, you get the keyboard and all the accessories. So apart from the keyboard, you get a wrist rest. You also get a plastic keycap puller. Then you get a wireless adapter too for the wireless mode. And you also get a braided micro USB cable with gold plated connectors. This keyboard has a floating key design like a lot of the big brand mechanical keyboards out there. As I said before, the switches are mounted on a metal plate. It looks really nice and it adds a premium feel to the board. However, the rest of the body is entirely plastic. On the sides, you get a slim orange band just under the plate. And I would prefer a more neutral color, but that's not too bad either. Underneath, you will find rubber feet. And at the top, you also get flip out feet, but they're not as grippy as the one directly on the body. Still, I didn't experience any slipping issues. You also get an on-off switch that's meant for the wireless mode and one of the screws has its Phillips head completely stripped. I don't know if it's on purpose to prevent users from opening up the board or if it's just a quality control issue, but I don't really like seeing that. At the back you find a micro USB port. USB Type-C would have been nice, but for the price I can't really complain. And I like the fact that the cable is braided, it will let you charge the keyboard or let you use it wired. I like the keyboard as a wired mode as it can be very useful if you want a guaranteed like free typing experience, let's say for gaming, or if you want to use it in your BIOS. The keyboard also comes with a wrist rest, it's detachable so it's nice if you prefer to have it on or off. And while it's entirely made out of plastic, it's quite comfortable. All the keycaps are black with white translucent legends. The font is really gamery looking so you might like it or not. They're entirely made from ABS plastic and while they have a textured surface, they will probably shine over time, but the legends are actually double shot which means they won't fade over time. That's pretty good considering the price of the keyboard. Now being a mechanical keyboard, we must go over the switches. This board has Audemu blue switches and I don't think there are other switch options available for now. I rarely use clicky switches so I won't be able to easily compare them against other clicky switch options but they feel pretty good. They sound the same across the board and the actuation point seems even. And while the stems have a box around them, these are standard and will fit most third party keycaps. Same thing for the stabilizers, although the stems are removable and will get stuck in your keycaps. They can still be used on standard third-party keycaps without any issues. The stabilizers are also great for the price as the keys go down straight and they don't rattle either. So overall, great typing experience. For gaming, I would go with linear or tactile switches, but a lot of gamers like clicky switches too, so it really depends on what you prefer. The switches also have LEDs, they are not RGB however, and they emit a greenish light blue color. They're not very bright, but it's still nice to see that in a budget board and they work as intended. The keyboard has some built-in animations and you can cycle through them using function plus F9. It's pretty basic, but it gets the job done. Using the keyboard wireless led to a really lag-free experience. It's a bit better than Bluetooth usually, but it's not as versatile since you can't connect to multiple devices at once and you can't easily connect to phones and tablets. The signal should pick up at up to 10 meters, so you should be fine at your desk or even as a keyboard for your home theater PC. There was a few times where I got keystrokes that didn't register, but I'm using a wireless mouse that also uses the 2.4 GHz band, so that could be it. The mouse had a bit of lag too at times when I used it while typing wirelessly on the keyboard, but it never has issues normally. I can't really explain how or why, but using the keyboard wireless did seem to have some issues for me with my setup. Again, that might be entirely based on the other peripherals I use and you might never encounter that too. 
Still, that led me to not test as much the wireless mode as I wished, so I can't really speak on the battery life. It's a 1300 milliamp hour battery, so it's pretty good for a non-Bluetooth board. Motor speed claim about 10 hours of usage, and I'm pretty sure you could get at least these numbers as the keyboard switches to a standby mode when it's not used for a few minutes. The keyboard also has charging and low battery LED indicators just beside the numlock and caps lock LEDs, and that's a nice touch. You can also use the LEDs in the wireless mode, but the battery will drain much faster that way. So in conclusion, what's the verdict? For around 50 bucks, it's a great keyboard. If you want to go full size and have a wireless option on a mechanical keyboard, this is probably the cheapest option you get right now. Just keep in mind that I did have some slight key misstrokes with my setup. I like the double shot keycaps and the switches feel nice. And the metal backplate is a nice touch that adds a bit of a premium feel to the keyboard. On the other hand, it's missing RGB LEDs and the switch options are really limited. The value is really good for the price, but only having blue switches as an option is a limitation that is worth thinking about. So as always, I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself. So hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you liked the video if you did, and if you didn't, just let me know why in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.